date range. And since I'm looking at this, I want to use the opportunity to look at this. This is just crazy. Actually, I'm going to go with less than that. It's about a 20 days worth. Yeah, 20 days. We're looking at 20 days of. So in February, we had um, right here. We started noticing uh, methane in Antarctica uh, through EASI. Nobody knew exactly where the methane was coming from, if it was coming from uh, methane clathrates uh, melting on the coast and then somehow that being uh, uh, making it inland I mean there are winds blowing on the opposite direction so that that really didn't make too much sense but uh, look at this so it starts on beginnings of February and then it goes it goes in one month Look at, look at the size of this. You can see the methane going, trying to go to the coast, being blown by, by the wind. And you can see new methane coming. You see it? It's almost like a pyroclastic. This is crazy. Now, I, I want to show you something here. do this. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to use my screen just as a measuring tape. Oops. Yeah. And let's look at the size of this thing. <coughs> so we're looking at, there you go. So more or less it goes from the left, from the left of my screen to the right, and from where the letters are to the time slider, right? Now, let me give you an equivalent so you know what I'm talking about. All right, this is the United States. And from the right of my screen to the left and from the letters to the time slider this uh, methane uh, venting episode is literally the size of the continental United States and it's coming from Antarctica under a mile of ice on a place where it's not supposed to it's not supposed to be, I mean it's, it's just it really makes no sense it makes no sense. I read a really good um, explanation by Albert uh, Callio on the uh, methane hydrates uh, blog uh, of uh, San Carana, and it's the only thing that uh, so far has made made sense to me. But it's, I mean, it's clear because I, I heard a lot of people saying, "Hey, but but this is coming from the sea." Well, if you go and not a lot actually, if you but if you go and see it. Is it, it starts right here. It starts right in the middle. See? It starts right in the middle. Even this is a high uh, mountain range area. I mean, it's just amazing. This all happened in one month. So that is one of the m major differences between CO2 and, and CH4, and is that uh, methane venting, a methane venting episode can be almost explosive. And, and that's why uh, 
you find so many scientists that work with methane that are freaking out. Let me show you one more thing before I go. And then I'll just let you go. I read a paper, and this is something else that you can use this for. I read a paper uh, well, yesterday from Laura Brothers about uh, she found a, a huge methane venting, uh, venting on the Blake Ridge uh, diaper seep which is right here, it's on the site, uh, around the site 9 and 6, that would be like right here, right here. And basically in 1995 it was about 300 feet uh, height, a column of uh, methane coming from the seafloor, and they measured it in March at 1300 feet. So what we don't want to do now is just look at the there you go. Right here. It's not only coming from uh, this place, but it'll, it's also, look at this. It's also like it's moving with the Gulf Stream. See? We've got the movement here. See? And it's a. Uh, Obviously, these are very uh, deep waters, so there's a lot of uh, methane assimilation by, by the ocean. But something that I found uh, curious is that it, it, it matches high venting in the continent as well, see? Well, there are the study published uh, by nature last uh, when was uh, October showed uh, that 2.5 gigatons of methane are destabilizing along the eastern coast of the United States like right here and you can you can see it it would be great to run a, a maybe uh, not only the sea surface because I mean this is so deep we, that's, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be good, but maybe looking at uh, algae blooms, uh, something that can show uh, an increase in temperature on the on the deep sea, phytoplankton. Anyway, um, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, please go to methanetracker.org and post your question there. Thank you.